Here's an Excel tip that will take your filtering game to the next level. In this case, I'm looking at a sample of about 4,000 movies from the IMDb database, including film titles, the release year, genre, and rating. And what I want to do is filter this data down. I want to just look at biography films released after 2010 that start with the word the. So what I can do is add this filter criteria range by essentially replicating the column headers and drop my criteria right here in row three. So I'm going to use a genre of biography. The year should be greater than 2010 and the title should be anything starting with the and I'll use the asterisk wildcard symbol there. Now here's the thing, instead of using the Alt-A-T shortcut to add those traditional filters on my column headers, I'm going to use Alt-A-Q and what that's going to do is open up the advanced filter dialog box and here it can specify both my data or list range as well as that criteria range which in this case lives in cells A2 through D3. I'm going to go ahead and filter this list in place instead of copying to a different worksheet location, press OK. And there you go. We're left with 13 biography titles, all starting with the word the, all released after 2010. And that's great, but we could have accomplished the same exact thing using standard column headers. But here's where things get interesting. What if we wanted to add some more complex logic to our filter criteria, like showing either biography or action films, and adding specific criteria for each of these genres? This is where standard filter options and pivot tables fall short, and it's what makes this advanced filtering technique so powerful. So I'm going to select a cell here, use Alt-AT to essentially clear those filters, and why don't we look at action filters before the year 2000, and that have a rating of at least 8.5 stars. Maybe for biography, we're a little more lenient, at least 8. So I've updated my criteria range here. I'm going to select the data cell, go back into Alt-AQ, the only update I need to make is to update my criteria range to accommodate that new row of data that I've added, D4, press OK, and check this out. We get eight titles that meet all of the filter criteria we've defined. We're looking at action films that were all released before the year 2000 and have a rating of at least 8.5, plus those biography films that were released after 2010 with a rating of at least 8. Really powerful stuff. A quick word of warning, this technique actually iterates through each row or record in the list, so you've got to be careful if you're using this with very large data sets or very complex filters, in which case a tool like SQL is probably a better bet. But there you have it, quick crash course in advanced filtering with Excel.